Hey, consider this an introduction to painting with acrylic. Uh, I'm going to show you how to prep a board. Uh, we'll be painting primarily on masonite board through this class. You can also paint on canvas. Um, however, I prefer painting on board. Uh, it's a smoother surface. You can get higher detail. It's pretty sturdy. It's light. It's easy to frame. Um, so I, I prefer using board. So we're going to start with this. And the first thing to do is prime your board. Um, that helps the paint to stick to it, helps with longevity. Um, but you want to pay attention because in the art room, things aren't always what they seem. This is not the same as this and is not the same as this. And no, I'm not just talking about the size differences. These, all three of these things are different. Okay? You have to read labels. This says gesso. Gesso is what we use for our primer. It's what you put underneath. This is block out white paint. This is what you use when you need paint. Don't use the gesso when you're actually painting. This looks like white paint, but it's not. It's gel medium. And gel medium starts looking white like this, but when it dries, it's transparent. Um, it's also very useful. Always, always, always read your labels before you're using something. So what we're going to use first is the, the gesso. You always, 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 when you're painting with acrylic, need water. And whatever brushes that you're going to need. And paper towels. Every time you start painting, you need to have that tool set out. Every single time. Okay. Um, whenever you start painting with acrylic, you need to always wet your brush down first. You don't want it soaking wet, but you want it you want it wet down. Okay. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and prep this board real quick. You can watch me to do it. Um, in almost all cases, I'm gonna want out my um, palette also. But for the sake of doing my primer, I'm just going to get that done. I'm going to shake this first just in case it's been sitting because when paint sits, it separates. I'm going to show you on the board about how much you're going to want. I don't want this too wet, so I'm going to dry it off just a bit. It just needs to be damp, otherwise the paint sticks to the brush and then it ruins it. Okay, okay so I laid that down kind of this direction. I'm going to paint over it the opposite direction. I have too much, actually. Um, and typically when I'm doing this, I'll just go right off the side and do kind of big sweeping motions. Um, I actually have too much, that's okay. I was going to uh, prep a second one anyways, so we'll just go ahead and do that now. When you prime it, you don't want it goopy. It actually might be just a little bit transparent when you put it on. And that's okay because if it's too transparent, we'll do a second coat. Or we might decide that we don't need that because we're going to draw our paint over it anyways. Really, we're just prepping the surface so that the paint sticks well to it. When you buy a canvas at the store that's already pre-made, often it already has been gessoed as well. Gesso will help to tighten a canvas if it's kind of loose. Notice I am going in, in these large brush strokes and it's also getting on the table a little bit. That's fine. In the art room it doesn't matter if we make a mess. 
at all, so long as we clean it up. That's all that matters. You can make it as big a mess as you want, and I won't get mad as long as you clean it up afterwards. The bigger motion you use with these brush strokes in the beginning, the better, the more smooth and uniform your surface will be. This one looks really good. I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to smooth this one out some. This one's actually a little bit thicker than I want it to be. You'll know because it kind of is globby. And, and for the priming, we don't really want that. When you're painting, it gets, it's okay to get that thick if that's the aesthetic that you're looking for, but you have to move quickly acrylic paint and gesso dry very very quickly it's best to go all the way across the surface in one swoop. I'm taking just a little bit of the excess from that one and priming this second one. In most cases it won't matter if this is um, totally pure stark white because you're going to be painting over it regardless. Um, but if you decide you need a totally white canvas space to start then just do more layers until you're satisfied. You should let it dry between doing layers. Okay. I have a paper towel close by. Water. I'm going to clean out my brush. I'm going to push it all the way down to the bottom of that. I'm going to twist it a little bit. I might separate the brushes some, or the bristles on the brush. Okay. My water gets dirty like this. I don't really want that for painting, so I'll, I'll clear it out. Get some fresh water. Okay, I'm going to let those dry. Um, I might move them over. And then uh, also do my cleanup on this. If you don't wait too long, then the cleanup uh, is super easy. Okay. Should only take a couple of seconds. 